first of all, how do we keep participants interested? Well, they tell us that the first thing to do is to try to encourage participation from people. It's very difficult to learn anything when you're not part of the learning experience. And we can, be part, uh, we can be a part of that in many different ways, not just by standing up ourselves and, and uh, actually delivering part of the course. Uh, when we encourage participation in people, we're actually trying to build up their self-esteem in terms of self-confidence. Okay. Um, and we're also trying to develop a commitment from people to completing the activities that make up the course. And also, we are talking in terms of, of what adult needs are met by encouraging people to participate in a, uh, in a learning experience or in the uh, educational process. And that is that we all feel we need to be a part of that process ourselves. And mo most important, especially in our context and because of the people that most of us deal with, we need to recognize that people bring valuable experiences to the learning environment. And that is one of those big differences between children and adults that we should always remember when we're trying to facilitate learning. And that is that you did not get that group of people out of nowhere. These people are experienced, they're educated, and they have valuable experiences that come to bear on what you're trying to do. What you're doing when you encourage people to participate is that you're acknowledging that these people have something to say and you need to know what that is and they need to know that you value it also. We're not talking about just standing there and asking people to say things out of the blue. We're talking about <coughs> actually encouraging people to share with others their own experiences. This is particularly true of continuing education settings. I don't know how much experience you've had with that kind of thing, but one of the main problems with a lot of continuing education projects in, uh, or courses in universities is that the people who teach in those courses like to do with night students and extension students the same things that they do with their day students. And it's a very interesting concept because the people they have in their classes during the day are sometimes college sophomores and juniors who haven't had a real opportunity to go out and test their knowledge in the, in the job market. <coughs> But the people they have at night do, for the most part, and are coming back for job needs or personal needs. We're not talking about the same audience altogether. So when you sit there at 6 o'clock in the afternoon and somebody's talking to a wall, okay, and they're standing up as the all-knowing expert, and you sit there and go, oh, my God, this is so boring. It is boring. It's not you. It is boring. I tried to do that after I, I finished my PhD. I went back to take a course, and I think I lasted a week can't do it anymore, okay? <clears throat> Working for 10 years and then you come back to school and there's somebody up there and you say, oh, now I remember why I hated college. We can't do that with adults, okay? Especially technical adults. 